Scroller box is back on time now. I have received this box. It is now the, what is the date today? It's the 3rd of June. So 3rd of June and I have May's box. So we're back on time now. So that's awesome. <laughs> so uh, yeah, like I said, this is May 2021's box. So let's open up and see what's inside. I'm a little bit terrified because there's been two really good boxes in a row and I'm sort of terrified that this is going to be something that is going to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we have the sticker that is very, very pretty, very pretty sticker. All right, let's put the menu aside. <sighs> okay, what the hell is going on here? We've got some Poskas, but look at this, Posca pencils. All right, I get, won't get distracted. So we have, what the hell? Look at this little thing. So we have, a pearl burnish San Francisco liquid white colored pencil. Shake well. Oh, look how cute it is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we got a candy. Black currant and licorice. What? All right. This one got me curious. All right, so it is a hard boiled lolly. Look at that. So far, it's nice. Oh, that is really nice. Like black currant and licorice. I never thought those two would go together. Oh, wow. Where do I get me some? Okay, so the licorice is like the chewy center. Wrapped in a black currant casing. Mm. Yeah, that was nice. Subtle, it wasn't strong, very nice. All right, so we have a Derwent line maker, the 0 0.05, so that's, oh. <laughs> that is a little fella. Okay, so we have an unmarked, uh, little baby paintbrush. It is. It is a little fella as well. Look at the little baby bristles. We have these Posca pencils. So this nice little exclusive color selection for a scroller box. All right. Let's get into this. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, look at this color choices. Posca has pencils and I did not know. So we have light orange, fuchsia, blue green, blue, gray, and lilac. Not as terrified as I thought I was going to be, but still pretty terrifying because they're coloring pencils. Oh, and look at that. That is pretty. Wow. Obviously it goes this way. So there is the featured artist. Art by Safana. Safana? I don't know if I'm saying that right. But there is her uh, social medias if you want to go and check her stuff out. Let's have a look in the scroller zine to see what some of her other stuff is. Oh, oh shit, look at that, that is nice. See, I'm not one for drawing flowers, so I really appreciate when someone can draw flowers <laughs> like that. That's really nice. So, oh, there is some reading for me. Lighto. 
And no, I didn't make the March uh, gallery page. Even though Scrollerbox liked my robot, I did not make the I didn't make the cut. And last but not least, we have some Gold Line A5 cartridge pad, 16 sheets at 120 GSM. So they're just for obviously coloring pencils. Very thin, smooth. These pencils have a matte finish and these pencils can be used They can be used on different surfaces such as paper, card, wood, metal, leather, glass, plastic, canvas and organic materials such as stone. There you go. And they can be uh, used with watercolour, acrylic or Posca markers. Wow, so this this cute little bottle is actually made by the artist that is featured. So that's pretty cool. And it's used for adding highlights, obviously, because it's a little white liquid colored pencil. All right, so the scroller challenge is a secret garden. Yeah, I, I actually have something in mind for this. So what I'm sort of thinking is like, Obviously, um, including like uh, a little little garden, uh, some you know, nice little place, and then I'm gonna plop a, a little monster of some sorts in the middle of it. Yeah. All right, I won't throw that box out this time, just in case I want to sharpen, sharpen stuff. First of all, we better swatch. We better swatch these to see what I'm working with here. They are, they are really nice colors. They really are. All right, so this is the, oh, shit. Shit, we're just so fine. You can never have too many of these little ones because I use all these for um, very fine details in my work. Let's try this little thing. So it's very, very thick. I'll just use the dropper for now. I just want to see looks like Get some grain in there that's very opaque like I said the thought that I have with this is is a little is a little garden We'll just draw something quick here with maybe a cute little, a cute little hideous monster sitting in it. Sort of like, you know, contemplating life. That's what I was sort of thinking. And maybe, maybe he is just wanting to some alone time to gather his thoughts could change um, but yeah that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna re you know I'm gonna refine this obviously and then uh, hopefully I'm not gonna leave it a couple of weeks or a month <laughs> before I do this again so Hopefully I can, uh, I'll be back soon and actually with a uh, design that we can sit down and, uh, and do. Let me clear some of my desk. It's an absolute pigsty. It's going to be another well-organized day. I can feel it. <laughs> Never organized when I tackle these scroller boxes. The 1st of July, and I think it's time I tackled May, is it May? Yeah, May's, um, May's box, because 
I'm just getting way too behind in this stuff. Oh, poo. We've had a fatality. It's all good. It's just the, the pen. Luckily it wasn't the pencil because <laughs> I do not want another episode of last time Scroller Box where I just kept sharpening and I was breaking. So I do have something like, do have something planned. Oh, oh okay. I do have something planned for this. Um, and you, well, you actually, you guys know that this was um, what I came up with. Ignore that. That's one of my bands that I like. <laughs> I just wrote their name there. Um, so I sort of was going to come up with like a little monster sort of sitting in um, like a field and not going to do that idea um, because I sort of came up with something similar, but just a, a little bit different. Let me get reacquainted with this stuff. So this little Povo paintbrush, now that I'm looking at it, these must be, are these water soluble? What? Wait, I just gotta, I just gotta get reacquainted. What are they? Let me see. Oh no, no, the paintbrush is for the liquid, the liquid white. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just not with it today. It's been one of those weeks. And I even cut my finger. Look at that, that like, that, that stings like a bitch. We're going to take a bit of inspiration from that idea and then I'm going to do <clears throat> the idea that I want to do. Right, and for you guys that don't know, Scrawlerbox actually commented on my last video and I was very, very stoked. Very stoked. I pinned it, so it's the top comment on the other one, so yeah. All right, here we go. Let's do this before I get unfocused. So the idea I sort of had um, is like, like a human body sort of um, dis dismembered again. You can totally see why Scrollbox won't feature me in the magazine, right? <laughs> Scroller box, if you're watching this video, I can dull things down. I don't have to put blood in my pictures. I can totally just do something creepy and weird without any blood if that's what you're worried about. I can do that, I swear. My absolute love for making everything look alien knows no boundaries. I actually think I would find it very hard to draw a normal human being these days. I probably see this sort of stuff more interesting to draw than just a boring human being. All right, <laughs> you're probably wondering, uh, how is this a secret garden? <laughs> Stay with me. Stay with me. I will. I'm getting to that. Getting back to like the scroller box. I, I actually think that if I was probably ever featured, like a featured artist in a scroller box, I, I actually believe that there'd probably, there'd probably be complaints. <laughs> scroller box would probably get complaints about how terribly messed up the featured artist is and probably how dare that they featured me. Oh, I'm actually here for that. I would really want to, I, you know what, that would probably, um, that would probably make my day sick twisted me, you know, like, <laughs> believe it or not. Because there's a lot of people out there that take life way too seriously. And I'm not one of them. I like to have a giggle um, at absolutely anyone's expense. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm being horrible to those, you know, groups of people. That it's just a little light-hearted humor. People need to, people just need to lighten up. Have a laugh at yourself. 
what the world's all about. I miss that. I miss the days where people would just have a crack at themselves just to make others laugh and then it didn't mean anything. So we have our, um, our vase. I'm gonna call her, I'm gonna call, or oh, it's kind of an it, I suppose. All right, so one thing is there's gonna be a hole here. We'll get some vines, sort of, I suppose some vines happening here. And I do want some sort of coming out here as well, out of this arm. And then, do want one sort of coming out of like here, but we'll sort of make this one a bit of a a bit of a plant, I suppose. So now I want a big, uh, I want a big hole here. Well, it's not a big hole. I'll make it bigger. And then we'll have some more of these sort of like wiggly vines coming out of here. We'll have some coming out of here. What I might do is get like a really sort of <laughs> a gross one that sort of is like a, a like an eyeball. Maybe maybe it's her eyeballs down here. I might fill that with with leaves. Not one for drawing leaves or anything. So I kind of need a reference. I'm not a I don't like drawing gardens and flowers and stuff. Big vine, uh, big vine coming out here with an eyeball on it. Because like these are her eyes. They're her eyes because where else are they going to be? You know? Alright, we might do another flower down here and then I think I'll call it. <laughs> um, I'm not liking this one so I might get rid of it. And I'll, I want to just make it a little bit smaller. So we'll sort of make this like on the ground a bit. So we'll make like a, we'll make like a bit of a ground with some so-called grass. And I want to put a bone, bone here with a flower coming out behind it. Do you like my flowers? They look like windmills. <laughs> that is no reference right there. So she's kind of like a little fancy vase, like a little, you know how people get creative with where they put plants? Well, that's just what's going on here. Someone's built, maybe, maybe this is a ceramic pot and someone's gotten fancy and has like created a human shape, humanoid shape thing and then just put holes everywhere and then had vines growing out of it. You don't know, like you don't know the story. I don't even know the story. I just, either way, this would be something that I would have in my garden to be completely honest with you. What is the time? It's only 11. God, I've only been awake. I've only been awake an hour and a half and I'm not liking it. It's just one of those days, it's been raining for a week and I'd rather stay in bed. So what I might do is I might keep the, the vase, the humanoid vase. I might keep it this sort of more muted sort of colors with uh, bits, some bits of pink and shit. Um, so all this, all the, you know, all the flowery gardeny shit can, oh God damn it, can, pop and that's like the main focus of it so that's my way of thinking but we'll just start and actually um i'm not working with watercolor so i might just lighten this line art a little bit more because it, ooh, nice and soft what i should have tested is this does this thing go over colored pencil it does, but it's because it's so thin, I sort of worry about it clogging up, but we'll take that risk. Don't really know how to approach this. Alright, where should we put some of this pink? Hmm. Probably not there. Excuse my finger, is a bit of smudgy smudgy. Right, let's try this 
gray. So I might just get in here. So I probably shouldn't have done this, the skin color. This needs to be a little like darker in here. Uh, what should I do the bones? I'm just wondering if I just do the bones the same color. I'm sort of thinking maybe this teal color. The green blue. Um, can maybe be some of the, the vines. That's the leaves. Then we might, uh, some of these. Shit, I don't know. And these ones, exactly the same. I think that's enough of the teal. I'll use some of this darker one for some of these other vines. Might do these, the pink color, seeing that they're like the, actually we might see if I can sort of lighten that and smudge that out a bit with the skin tone. So it's not so magenta or fuchsia, fuchsia. The only thing to do now is to do the flowers and they're going to be purple because we'll make them lavender flowers. Create some shadows on the ground. So I'll get some of this. This paintbrush is completely munted. We'll do some, see if we can do some little fine dobs in the center of these flowers without making too much of a mess. We'll give, give us some like white highlights here and there before I then go over it with with the um, liner. Um, I'm a little bit on the fence with this white um, liquid pencil. I don't know if it's something that I would personally use. That's just my opinion, obviously. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's okay. But obviously if you're using um, colored pencils and you want some white highlights, this would be perfect, like hands down. But that's the only sort of time I would use it, to be honest with you. And I suppose that's when you would use it. It's very grainy. So the only thing left to do now is to go over everything with the liner and finish it all off. This is the part I love the most when I'm just filling in all the details. So I'm probably going to be pretty silent now <laughs> because when I'm doing this, I don't talk at all. Getting some cloggage. Getting some cloggage. All in all though, this um this doing fine line has been a little champ. Yeah, I've gotta keep I've gotta keep um I've gotta keep doing this to clear the nib. Or on the contrary, it's it's doing better than I thought it was gonna. I'm just sort of feeling this for some reason, just having some um, lines sort of coming out like this and purely it's sort of helping clear the nib <laughs> because the nib is chock-a-block full of shit. Right, I'm going to leave it at that and I'm gonna sign it. Okay, this was fun. Um, I'm totally out of my comfort zone here, not experienced with pencils, um, but these were these were cool. Like these were nice soft pencils. Um, the Derwent liner, it, it did go over it, but look how many times I had to clear the nib. 
um, to get it to go over everything. Um, but that's a given, you know, that this sort of texture and um, medium is going to clog, you know, clog up. I've got to do that with watercolor when I go over the tops with some of the liners I use. This stuff I find doesn't dry very quick at all. Um, it's probably just the weather at the moment because uh, it's very rainy and shitty. Uh, that could be a, a contributing to it with the humidity that's around. Um, but yeah, this this is okay. Like um, it's not something that I would personally use. I would just prefer a white gel pen over the top of pencil because the uni pen uh the, i mean the uni ball signos go over go over um coloring in pencils quite fine um i will use this though uh to to use it up but personally that's not for me i had fun doing something completely different and um yeah getting out of my comfort zone which is what i like to get these scroller boxes for is to do that so yeah Anyway, I am finished. I I am going to now go and that's my final piece. Nothing special. It's nothing special at all. It's just something simple um, to sort of experiment with some coloring in pencils. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. So yeah, I am out of here. Um, if you want your own scroller box, I'll have a link down in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.